Do you guys remember when the free apps on the App Store were actually free? Nowadays, it feels impossible to download any app without being met with a paywall once you open it. You're either super limited with the free app or you can't even access the app at all without a subscription. It actually got so bad that in 2014, Apple changed the App Store free apps from free to get because they weren't really free anymore. But believe it or not, there are still some apps out there that are absolutely free. I'd love to share you the ones that I found here in this video. So let's talk tech. <laughs> I'm aging with Arden Lee Tech, and full disclaimer, like maybe 50% of these actually do have a paid version of their apps, but the free version of their apps are really good, really expansive, not super limiting for the most part, and they don't force feed the paid version of their app at all. Starting with Freeformed. Yes, Freeformed is an app that is absolutely downloaded on every Apple device at this moment, but it's an app that I feel like gets overlooked because of that. You can actually take it on from your iPhone to your iPad to your MacBook and work on the same document on those different devices seamlessly. And you can actually invite your friends and make it a collaborative document, which is really cool. I previously used it in a collaborative capacity to help brainstorm for a brand design that I was helping a friend with. And Freeform was a perfect dumping place for all of our ideas and how we combined the two. And then we took all of that and put it into like Illustrator to kind of solidify the idea when I thought was a really cool way to collaborate. If you like drawing diagrams and boards and adding photos and things like that, it, it can be a very helpful note taker if you really wanted to make it that. So if you haven't tried Freeform yet, you definitely have to give it a try and see how it works for you. And speaking of notes, if you want a note taking app, but don't like using Apple's native notes app, Freenote is a good one that is actually free. Personally, my app of choice when it comes to note taking is GoodNotes 6. That's one I've been using for years now. While it's easily recommendable and eligible to be on this list now that it's free, the paid version of the app is actually really good. And I would honestly recommend it if you had the money for it. But that's why for me, it's an honorable mention rather being on the list. But in any case, free notes is actually a really good alternative. There's customizable covers and pages and actually a good amount of tools that you can get absolutely free. And believe it or not, it also has some free AI features as well. So if you like taking notes with an Apple Pencil, Freenotes is definitely a great app to consider. That said, don't ignore the Notes app. I have a lot of thoughts on the Notes app, especially nowadays, but I'll save that for a future video because it's, it can get pretty lengthy. The next app on the list is actually a video editor by VN. It's called VN Video Editor, and it's actually really good. If you're a content creator or just like want to edit videos for yourself, for your friends, your family, whatever, or for work, VN Video Editor is actually a pretty simple yet powerful video editor. You can add layers, you can add music, you can add transitions and effects just like any good video editing software can. It looks like the way it limits people is like 100 videos. You can edit 100 videos or something like that. I'm not sure if that's like a lifetime thing or if it replenishes um, at the end of the month or every week, but it does limit you to 100 videos of editing. I did try to edit some stuff on there and it seemed pretty easy to figure out and to do. I've used video editors like LumaFusion religiously and Final Cut Pro for iPad and it does pretty good compared to those two. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more fun, something to help you creatively, but also be like more of a game, Doodle Draw is a pretty fun app. I think technically it's a game, but it really does help for those of you who are illustrators or want to be illustrators to kind of help tickle that creative side of your brain. What it does is you basically get a random shape and then you can draw outlines to kind of make it something that you see in that shape. This can also help if you're having a creative block as an illustrator, but for me, it's been a fun little app to help challenge me creatively and think outside of the box. Now, if Doodle Draw makes you want to become an illustrator or make you want to get into digital art more so, you're gonna need an app for that. And one app that is free is Sketchbook. You've heard about Procreate tons and tons and tons, but that's a $10 app. Sketchbook is free. It has a great variety of pen tips, pencil tips, brushes that you can use to create whatever kind of art you're looking to create digitally. So if you're somebody who's looking to do some more digital art but need a free app to do it, Sketchbook is definitely one to consider. Like I said, I'm not an illustrator. I do like to do some design work. So sometimes I sketch out the design work and I've used Sketchbook and apps like it to do so. I will say everyone talks about Paperlike and it's a really great thing to have if you're gonna be using an Apple Pencil, but I don't like having Paperlike on my screen 
all the time. So I personally get this one from ESR that's removable. It's, it connects by magnets on your iPad and you can just take it off whenever you want to not have it and watch a video. And then if you need something for traction when it comes to note taking or design work or you know digital illustrating, you can put that magnet screen protector right back on and have that paper-like feel. Really good, I'll have it linked in the description below. Also, if you already downloaded any of the apps I mentioned in today's video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and comment down below and let me know which app that was and how you're enjoying it so far. The next app that I'm going to mention is something I just started using and I really am enjoying. And this is one of the ones that do see the paid version a little bit more persistent than the others. That said, I, I'm considering getting that paid version because it's actually a really great app. It's called Structured. If you're looking to start off the year a bit more organized, Structured might be an app that can help you. That's why I'm using it. And honestly, it's been pretty good. It helps do a little bit more time blocking, a bit clearer and more adjustable and it's user friendly. If you're not really sure where to start when it comes to planning, there actually is an AI that's built into the app that can help you make all those plans, but you do need the pro version for that. That said, you can do a little free trial if you wanted to and have that help you out and then cancel the free trial if you don't end up liking it. That said, the interface is really easy to use. It feels very encouraging and helps you stay on pace. Maybe I'll do a full video on Structured in the future video because I've actually really liked it. And again, I'm considering buying the pro version. We'll see. We'll see though, we'll see. Now going back to a completely free app again, it's it's Libby. I don't know if you've heard of Libby. It's not necessarily an iPad exclusive app either, but Libby is a really great app that all you need to do to even access it is a public library card, which is free. You just gotta go to your library, get a public library card, and then you can use that to access the digital library. Now your library would completely depend on your county and your state or whatever, if they even have Libby, but all you need to do is have a public library card. And if you have one already, you just gotta find it and put it in when you log into the app. Now you got access to tons and tons of audiobooks, ebooks, manga, comic books, and the list goes on. I'm currently listening to the Hobbit series uh, narrated by Andy Serkis. And I, in my library, I have the Avengers Kang Dynasty comic book. Look at that, really cool. Full color pages. So whether you're bookworm or not, or if you just like listening to audiobooks like me, this might be something to really consider because it's, again, absolutely free. Before I go into the next app, I got to do some honorable mentions that didn't really necessarily make the list because, again, there's paid walls, but they're not as bad. Um, Shonen Jump, if you are a comic book reader or a manga reader, Shonen Jump does have an app. They do have some free ones. You do have to pay for full access to the library of a manga that you can read. I'm not necessarily a massive manga reader, but I know there's a lot of people out there that do. Now, if you're someone who likes to color or use pastime to do something mindless or need something mindless, like a video game, or just like to coloring pages, Marvel has this color your own app. Again, I think I've mentioned this before. There are some free pages, but to get access to all of them, you have to like have a subscription or pay monthly for it. But again, you can just use the free ones and color those in. And it's actually a pretty fun coloring app. Do not underestimate the, the power of just mindless coloring. It, it really does. As a, as a father of a three-year-old now, you might have times we just color. <laughs> now, just coloring again is is awesome. It's a bit more calming than actually playing video games in my free time, you know. There's also an app that was recommended to me called Bear. It is a free app. Uh, there is a paid version to it. I just didn't get enough time with it um, to kind of mention it in today's video. I wish I did. I will probably take some more time to look in because it does look really good. And I wanted to mention it because it got a recommendation from a friend of mine who uses an iPad and uses this app really well. Um, so that said, and I mentioned GoodNote 6 earlier, still stand by it. It's still my favorite app to use. It has been and always will be my favorite note taking app. And all the new little AI stuff that they've included, I just, I haven't dabbled in too, too much, but I, I've seen some really cool things that you can do with it. And uh, anyway, good note six, highly recommendable. I mentioned it already. I will mention it again because I love it so much. The next app is Timestamp. This is one that I just are using as well. I've heard about it. I've seen some videos on it. And I had a friend, the same friend who mentioned Bear, recommend this app to me. 
it's not a task manager, it's a goal manager. So it has the very, very far future in mind and like the small little steps that it takes to get to there. From day to day task to week to week task to month to month task to like the overall goal that you have in mind task. And I think that's just a really cool way to kind of like think about things and what you're building towards. So for those of us who are looking to keep those goals in mind a bit more prominent, Time Stripe is definitely one to consider. Now, let me know if you have any other apps that are free that you would consider in the comments below that I should maybe do more videos on in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this iPad video right here or any of our other videos on this side right there. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.